Hey guys, I'm Jack. This is Unpacked. This is the perfect mon... Dang it, Anthony. You can't start every monitor review by calling it the perfect monitor. I mean, yes, I know this is another 144 hertz IPS monitor, but... What? You're saying this one is cheaper than the ROG Swift? And it has even better picture quality? Huh. Well then. When the ASUS ROG Swift monitor came out, it was the first of many 144Hz monitors with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 But up until just recently, they were all TM panels. The good thing about TM panels is that you can get some amazing response times, usually down to one millisecond. But color representation is never perfect, and you'll start to see color shifts very quickly when you're not sitting perfectly centered in front of your screen. That's where the ASUS MG279Q comes in. This is ASUS's latest 144Hz IPS gaming monitor with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and a stand that looks all too similar to the ROG Swift. While the former had G-Sync, this one now has FreeSync. Yes, Team Red, you finally get a point. Let's start with a tour of the outside. From the front, you'll notice a nice big display with a very thin bezel. The screen has a thin anti-glare coating on it which makes it more matte than glossy. Gone is the red ring of extreme gaming at the base of the stand. Now you just get a very normal looking wedge. On the back, you'll find the on-screen display controls, a five-way joystick, two speakers you should probably never use, a cable management clip, and your inputs. ASUS has given this monitor a USB 3 hub, two HDMI 1.4 ports, one DisplayPort 1.2 port, one mini DisplayPort 1.2 port, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The monitor uses an internal power supply, so all you need is the included cable. The monitor comes with the standard adjustments including height, tilt, pivot, and rotation. Keep in mind that the new stand pivots from underneath, so the entire base rotates along with the screen. Not a big deal breaker, but something to keep in mind if you have a crowded desk. Now the stand is removable if you have your own base mount you want to use. There's a switch that you just slide right over and it pops right off. Digging into the settings will present all the fancy goodies you come to expect from an ASUS gaming product. You'll get an ASUS on-screen crosshair, timer, gaming color profiles, low blue light mode, and flicker-free technology. All fine and dandy stuff, but Anthony likes to calibrate the monitor and leave everything else off. Speaking of calibration, it's no surprise this monitor gets a 100% sRGB accurate gamut. The image is just plain beautiful with almost a zero backlight bleed. And this carries over into everything you do with a monitor. So now we get to the final feature, FreeSync. It works, sort of. The activation range is once again 35Hz to 90Hz, and not the full spectrum G-Sync offers. 35 and below makes sense since anything under that is too choppy to be playable anyways, but having nothing in between 90 to 144Hz is just shooting yourself in the foot. Anyone who has the money for an expensive gaming monitor like this will probably have a powerful system that they can't take advantage of anymore. And that leads us to the conclusion of the video. Buy this monitor if you want a high refresh rate gaming monitor that is equally at home in Counter-Strike GO and Adobe Premiere. If you're very sensitive to screen tearing, then hold out for a different monitor with full FreeSync range or move to a G-Sync platform. Anthony personally doesn't have a problem with screen tearing and he said that this is a monitor he would actually buy. Yes, he uses an NVIDIA graphics card, but this is still a 144Hz IPS panel. It's a monitor that has a better image quality than the ROG Swift, better build quality than Acer Predator, all the while being a good bit less expensive. And that's a good thing. All right, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching and let us know in the comments below if this will be your next gaming monitor or if the FreeSync is a bit of a deal breaker. But as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll see you later.